I was scared to initially make this video because there was a lot of research to do. And as I found out, rightly so, there are so many organizations in developing and distributing this COVID-19 vaccine that they sound like characters out of a soap opera. And if you know me well enough by now, you will know that I hate watching the television. So this one is specially for you to keep you informed. I have broken down these characters and made it as simple as possible. I am going to tell you who they are, the stages of vaccine development, how the vaccine is going to be distributed and how finally the COVID-19 vaccine is going to get into your hands. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already. I am Dr. Ron Fonseca and let's get this started. To understand how the COVID-19 vaccine is being researched and will finally get into your hands, we have to understand a little bit about these characters, aka the organizations who seem as complex as a soap opera. There is the WHO, the World Health Organization. We will not go too in depth on who the WHO is because I think everyone is aware about the WHO. The Gavi Alliance formed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in order to provide vaccinations to underprivileged countries. CEPI, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness, formed in 2017 at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. It was co-founded and co-funded with US $460 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Wellcome Trust and a consortium of nations, including Norway, Japan, Germany, the European Union and Britain. These organizations together form COVAX. COVAX is the vaccine's wing of the ACT Accelerator. ACT Accelerator is the Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator program which was formulated in April 2020. It has three main wings, testing, treatment and vaccines. COVAX hates this vaccine wing. COVAX's role is to approve of the vaccines as safe for human use and to regulate its distribution. Gavi has an understanding with COVAX to provide equitably to 92 medium and low income countries who cannot afford to provide vaccines for the entire population to have equal access as higher income countries and at the same time. I quote the Gavi website on this. Once any of the COVAX portfolio vaccines have successfully undergone clinical trials and have proved themselves to be both safe and effective, and have received regulatory approval, available doses will be allocated to all participating countries at the same time, proportional to their total population size. A small buffer of about 5% of the total number of available doses will be kept aside to build a stockpile to help with acute outbreaks and to support humanitarian organizations. For example, to vaccinate refugees who may or may not otherwise have access. Before I tell you how the COVID-19 vaccine is finally going to get into your hands and also there's a little bit of good news for India, let us understand the steps which are taken before a vaccine is approved safe for human use. The first stage of vaccine development starts with preclinical trials which occurs in animals. From there on we move to the clinical trials. Phase 1 clinical trials are conducted in up to 100 people aimed at assessing safety of a vaccine for humans. Phase 2 clinical trials are conducted between 100 and 500 people, which seeks to assess the proposed doses, immunization schedule and possible short-term side effects. Phase 3 clinical trials are conducted in between 100 to 5000 people to ensure safety and efficacy in large groups. Once all the development stages of the vaccine are completed, they will be approved for large-scale manufacturing and distribution. For the COVID-19 vaccine, currently there are more than 100 vaccine candidates, out of which as of October 19, 2020, 44 vaccine candidates are currently undergoing human clinical trials. The vaccines for COVID-19 in development until now seem to be effective in the older population, which is good news because it's typically vaccines in older people are less effective. Also, it seems like the vaccine will be administered in two doses, both of them intramuscular injections. I have left relevant links for you to check out down in the description. Also please check out the link for the overview on the vaccines. In September this year, one of the leading vaccine developers from USA, who is in phase 3 clinical trials, Novavax, has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Serum Institute of India to manufacture 100 million doses of vaccines. It is believed that 50% of these doses will be for use for within the country. 
Serum Institute of India is one of the world's largest manufacturers of vaccines. They produce 1 billion doses of vaccines a year for various diseases. As expected, the COVID-19 vaccine will first be distributed amongst the most vulnerable, the healthcare workers, the older populations, and then the rest. I hope this video has provided you with some value. Please do share it to the maximum so that it can keep more people informed. And a subscribe would be nice. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Signing out, Dr. Rohan Fonseca.